We want to look at another way to calculate mechanical advantage that will work whether it's a simple or a compound pulley system. It's called the T method, and there's basically three components here. If you look at your pulley, as a rope comes in on one side, it goes around the pulley and comes out on the other side. So on the right side of the T, the rope is pulling with a unit value of 1, and on the left side of the T, it needs to be pulling with a unit value of 1 also. And for this system to be static, or not moving, if there's one on the right and one on the left, that's a total of two, there needs to be two going the opposite way down to balance it. So one and one going up, and two going down. So we can use that knowledge to calculate a mechanical advantage. So here's our anchor, and here's our load. And let's say that our rope system goes like that. We have a pulley attached to the load here, and a pulley attached to the load here, and a pulley attached to the anchor here. So we know we're pulling on this with a unit value of 1. So down here at this bottom right pulley, it goes into the pulley as 1, and it comes out of the pulley as 1. In order to balance, the load down here needs to be 2. Now we go up rope, and we know that it enters this side of the pulley at 1, and this side of the anchor pulley it exits at 1, so that means up here at the anchor it needs to be 2. And we know that that force continues on down, and it enters this bottom pulley as 1, and it leaves the pulley as 1, and then in order to balance that, it has to be 2 down here. And then we know that the 1 continues on up, and ends up here at the anchor. So, looking at that, we can count these up now and see that there is 2 units getting to the load here, and 2 units getting to the load here. So we're getting 4 and we put in 1. So that gives us a 4 to 1 pulley system. And something to notice at the top is that we have 1 unit going into the anchor here, 1, 2 going into the anchor here, so that's a total of 3, plus the one we were pulling in, so that totals 4 up here in the anchor and us, and 4 down here in the load system. So everything balances out, but we're getting a 4 to 1 advantage. Let's look at one more quick advantage. Let's say this one's coming from the bottom up and out like this. We've got pulleys connected to the load. We've got pulleys connected to the anchor. And we're applying a load of one or a force of one. So it enters the right bottom pulley as one and it leaves it as one, which means down here it has to be two. Continues on up and enters the right anchor pulley as 1, and leaves the right anchor pulley as 1, which means we have 2 going in up here. Now the continues on down. We have 1 entering the lower left load pulley as 1, and leaving as 1, and therefore we have 2 at the bottom. And it continues on to the upper left anchor pulley, entering as 1, leaving as 1, which means there's 2 up here, and then continuing on down as 1 and going into load. So if we add that up, we can see that there's 2, 4, 5 getting down to the system, and we only applied 1. So this is a 5 to 1 mechanical advantage system. And where did the other 4 go? There's 2 entering from the right upper pulley and 2 entering from this. So it's balanced with 5 at the top and 5 at the bottom.